Howdy y'all. Thank you for joining us today for this unboxing of the West Kingdom Tome Saga. This is basically a expansion-esque game that combines three of the Garfield games, the West Kingdom games, together. And as you can see here, it lets you know this will combine them together. And it's so that you can play all three games as a campaign if you want to. And then you can also just only own some of the games. They have the same thing. It was called the Rune Saga for um, the North Sea Saga. And it is soloable, which I was hoping to see on this. And I am glad to see that, which means you will definitely see it played. As we know, I definitely get solo playthroughs and play them on, when I get a chance. So uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Basically, for what I remember from the Rune Saga, what it does is there are things you can try to pull off that give you special abilities in the next one. And then if you're playing it with multiple people, you basically see who won the overall campaign. So we have a little book here. Right off the bat, I'm going to talk about Raiders of the North Sea because I already mentioned it. They do have a North Sea Saga, which is Raiders of the North Sea, Explorers of the North Sea, and Shipwrights of the North Sea. And then you can get the same thing we have here it's just called the rune saga and you can play through that so if you're interested in that and more of the vikings then it'd be worth the check out so this is going to be a nice little book i like the way it looks like a little book but it's just a normal rule book um but yeah right off the bat it's going to let us know hey the contents uh how to do the campaign it's even got a nice contents thing that's nice uh, components And then we have the Tome Saga campaign, so it'll let you know how to set up and play through the campaign. And then, I guess also because you can do multiples. Then it lets Architects be a co-op scenario. That's interesting. Of course, I haven't really played Architects a lot, so maybe I just never noticed since I don't read rule books very well. Maybe I never noticed, maybe it can be done co-op. But if not, that's, kind of, that's a nice addition in here. Even has Paladins as a co-op scenario in here. And the Viscounts co-op scenario. I wonder if this one actually combined them together to make it into a co-op. That would be an interesting twist. Let you know the bonus cards are being added in. All right, we got little baggies here. We have some wooden meeples, which if it is something where it is a co-op, I'm assuming these are where the co-ops are gonna take over because the way it looks on this, maybe for Viscounts and them taking over inside the keep. All right, we have some cards here we'll take a look at. And some closer looks at some more cards. All right, what we got here. So it looks like we have some more solo. Uh, I believe these would go to architects, it looks like, just by the layout of the thing. So it just looks like it's got some extra people for the solo or the, for the automa to play. This is something new to this. Maybe it's how the Atama works through the campaign. These are called the Overlord Boards. Sorry about that. I decided to go ahead and look on the back. It does say on the back that you can play it where you just see who's you can compete against each other or you can decide to go against the Overlord and that's where the Overlord Board comes into play. So that's really cool. Especially because I know some of my players, they just prefer to play games, especially games like this in a co-op fashion so we got a little overlord cut out here i'm assuming this is where he's gonna go definitely got to see if i can get something 3d printed up we got some shields which look like probably more stuff for the overlord boards um says the king's storehouse 
This looks like possibly architects in some way. Because it's, it's showing the keep where you would say, or the jail where you would send the people. And this looks like maybe something for one of the other games also. Go ahead and pop these open. See if there's some of the different backs. All right, so right off the bat, we got these that do have different backs. I'm not sure. It does show player counts, so I'm guessing this is depending on the number of players that you have in the campaign as to whatever those are going to do. Target 70 per. And then extra stuff on the back. These look like the Overlord again. So I'm assuming these are the Overlord cards and what he and how he operates. Maybe like an Atama fashion. These I do believe may be Paladins. I could be wrong about that. But it does look like Paladins backing if, if I remember the game right. And I do not recognize these backings. So this might either be part of that game or it might be Viscounts because I have not gotten Viscounts to the table yet. Alright. Just looking at the backs of these cards, these look like these are just additional cards. I will, I will turn to show the other sides. But these look like they're just additional cards to add into the game. These show the Overlord on them again, so I'm assuming more Atama in some way. This is showing these little meeples, so I'm assuming this is going to have something to do with the Overlord and how he does things. Then we got some more double-sided cards here. Bishop, Foreman, Traveler, Woodcut. These look like... Well, I was going to say they look like um, Architects by the art by the background but they are double-sided so it's probably got something to do with the overlord i'm assuming most of this is going to have to have stuff to do with the overlord and these look like yep more overload lord cards i do like the artwork in these games i mean i like a, usually a little bit more less cartoony artwork but so these i think are going to be in uh, the Rune Saga. They had punch out runes, like cardboard runes. But I'm assuming that's what these are. And what they are is they're goals that you can kind of try to achieve. And then you get stuff for, for the next game. Basically starting out better in the next game. If you're able to pull off some of these things. All right. Uh, these look like Viscounts, I think. I'm going to assume Viscounts, because I think this looks like uh, Paladins, I think. It could be Architects. Sorry, I'm having bad memory on just the backs, because they usually look pretty similar. I'm going to say Architects. I'm pretty sure this is... Or not Architects, sorry. Uh, paladins, I meant to say. Just because I'm seeing the different colored meeples, and that was kind of a thing in Paladins. So... Yep, cool way to kind of mix things in. And like I said, I like the idea of playing an overall arching campaign. We're gonna get this to the table. You, you will definitely probably see a series of events where now that I know I can do it solo, I'll do a series of events playing through all three games solo through the Tome Saga. Thank you for joining us and have a great day.